welcome back to my channel. So today I'm so excited because I'm getting ready to try out on camera the Sunny's Face products. And then also I did a greenish holiday look. Parties are coming up and so I thought I'd do more nighttime appropriate party look for you guys. If you want to know more about Sunny's Face and to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So I don't even know if I know how to film anymore because it's been about three weeks since I filmed anything. I had family over from the Philippines. We took them around town and other places and so we've been really busy and in that time <clears throat> my whole family got really sick. We all had flu shots but for some reason um, the flu just hit us really hard and so we were down for a good week. So I just kept pushing back filming and, and then it got to a point where I had no more material. My cousin, who is a makeup artist, said that one of the best brands of lipstick out there in the Philippines is by Sunny's Face. And actually, some people have compared this um, Sunny's uh, brand of lipstick to um, the Pat McGrath lipsticks. I got really excited and she said she was gonna give me three, guys. It's about 350 pesos, I think, per lipstick, so it's very affordable. So that probably amounts to, what, $10 per lipstick. So it's pretty much a drugstore price. I know I have subscribers from the Philippines, um, okay, let's be real. It's mostly my friends from the Philippines growing up, but um, I thought I'd mention it. So I told her, well, if you're going to get me lipstick, you may as well get me all of the makeup products that Sunny's Face sells, and I want to give it a try. Um, I hope it's everything that they have. I've got three lipsticks from my cousin. So they're called Fluff Mate Lipsticks, and I got three of those. I have the color Major. The color baked and there's one more thank you by the way no Hezzy. she's a makeup artist in the Philippines and she has an Instagram account and I'll put it right here on the screen in case you're from the Philippines and you have an event call her the last one is vacay so I have that the other products is the life brow they are brow pencils and then we have Glow Boss. This is a cream to powder shimmer stick. So that's interesting. I've never really worked with creams before. So it's called Glow Boss. I love that name, Glow Boss. And then I also have the Life Brow Grooming Gel. So this one is a brow gel. And they also sell Air Blush Soft cheek tints awesome packaging by the way that's what it's called right there and then they have a whipped matte lip cream or what they call their lip dips so that's their version of their liquid lipsticks we just bought every type of product that they sell and i thought that i would try them out here on video this is not the very first time i use these products i thought i'd do a quick get ready with me kind of like a holiday look today using most of the products from the sunny's face brand so let's get started i just bought a brand new foundation and it is the beauty blender bounce liquid whip long wear foundation i recently got a sample of this and after trying it on my face i just felt instantly in love with it very interesting packaging because it was made for the beauty blender or any kind of sponge i guess Ooh, there's a lock button here at the back this is too fancy for me so yeah, after I tried a sample size of this foundation, it felt so good on the skin. I knew I had to try it. I didn't put any primer today, but oh well. I'll just deal with it. I'm using my Physician's Formula Beauty Sponge today. I love this, by the way, guys. Really soft and bouncy once you wet it. Let's take it down my neck. And for the second layer, I'm gonna try using a brush. 
this time and just see how that works and how that applies because it's going on pretty sheer for me but this would be great for for every day it feels great on the skin it doesn't feel heavy next is concealer my color pop concealer right here i hope it's not turning on me it looks kind of like it's separating i did a review on the color pop concealer versus the elf concealer in case you guys are interested go check that out on my channel there's a flat end side to the beauty sponge which i like to use before i powder my face i want to go ahead and and use the Cre glow boss cream to powder shimmer stick look how pretty this packaging is look at that and then it has the sunny's face logo right there and then there's the glow boss let me see if i could swatch it for you guys right there right there there it is so it's a little too dark for my skin tone and actually the glow is very subtle this would be great for like a bronzy look i don't know what i'm doing <laughs> i love the the texture by the way it doesn't tug i was gonna use it as a glowy highlighter but it's looking more of like an eyeshadow for me or maybe like a bronzer it's super creamy it just glides on nicely when i asked her to buy this for me i wanted a lighter color um but this one is in the color mamacita this would be great for darker skin tones but it's very subtle i don't know that it's noticeable it's probably just gonna give you kind of like that inner glow kind of look i'm so scared about using cream products just wish it had a little bit more glow not my favorite but i love the, the texture and the formula of it so this one is their air blush blush it's a cheap tint i love this kind of matted packaging so pretty it's so simple i think that these products are really creamy but i just need to get the right color for my skin tone that's the color right there it's very subtle i'm gonna try to pat it in now it's showing much better i think this would be good for the no makeup makeup looks and actually i chose this because i wanted kind of like a very muted blush i can't wait to use this for the summer again i love the texture it doesn't make me oily which is what i was kind of afraid of because when she said oh they're like a cheek tint you know kind of cream to powder kind of formula and so i was like oh am i gonna how do i even use that am i gonna look shiny and oily and surprisingly enough it's not looking like that at all what i have left as far as the products is the life brow i picked the colored ash brown it's a really drier formula kind of wish it was more a little bit more warm so that it would show up more against my skin tone a really really fine tip look at that it has that firmness that you need so it doesn't keep breaking i'll leave the pricing in the description box below for each of these items so this is their life brow grooming gel in ash brown so this is what the wand looks like this actually reminds me of the tart it looks like exactly like the tart guys look at that actually the tart brow gel is not my favorite because of the wand what i noticed about this though is that it kind of gave me some hair like strokes there's something about the one that combs through the hairs on my eyebrows i think it's time to apply powder before all of these liquid stuff creases on my skin i might have to reapply the brow gel again 
it was a little bit too ashy for my skin tone and so it wasn't the perfect match i wish it was a little bit darker or deeper the powder i have today is the um, maybelline fit me powder since this is a holiday look i want to make my cheeks a little bit more noticeable i'll go with one of these here maybe this one just to add a little bit of color to my cheeks this is a new launch from tarte guys it is so pretty it has a small mirror right there um <clears throat> but it's a trio of blushes with different colors it comes as a set of three like this so it goes from lightest medium to darkest skin tone. I've been playing with these and so far all of them have worked for me. Of course, I have some favorites, you know, favorite color blush, but it comes with a highlighter right here. And then this one came with a bronzer. So it looks kind of orange, like an orange brown blush. It could go either way as a bronzer. I like to use it as a bronzer. So, yeah, so I said I was going to do a little bronzer. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me know if you want me to do a review on this. Ooh, okay. There you go. Okay, this is the color that I want. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this color right here on the crease. This color right here is so pigmented. That same color right here, I'm just gonna put some under the eyes. I bought two new Morphe brushes while I was shopping over the weekend. Oh my gosh, super soft. This is the E48. Now let's see how this one goes as far as the flat shader brush M167. Oh yeah, it's a good one. If you really do your research, they have some really, really great brushes that are super affordable. Oh my gosh, it looks totally different with a wet brush. I'm going to add a little bit of like a yellow eyeshadow from ColourPop. I wanted it to be like a yellowish green color. I'm gonna try a, a little bit on the center. Ooh! Oh, I'm so glad I used this. Now I wanna use a little bit of black. Kinda deepen the sides a bit. I was trying not to go dramatic, but I can't help it sometimes. Let's use my Marc Jacobs eyeliner here. No! I'm just gonna smoke out the eyes a bit, just the outer corners. And then, I'm gonna use the black in this Urban Decay palette right here. And let's kind of intensify the outer corners a bit. Highlight the brows a bit. when you look straight forward it kind of tells you see what parts of the eye is missing an eyeshadow maybe where the eyeshadow didn't blend appropriately okay i'm gonna intensify the highlight a little bit more with the medium um blush from tarte a little bit of highlight a little bit of highlight there kind of a c shape you decide where you want to glow be your own glow boss. Don't follow where everyone else 
say you're supposed to put your highlight in place. Put it in the places that make it flattering for your face, for your skin type. If you're oily, don't put highlighter all over the place because that's gonna make you oily. Um, I like to bring light into here because <clears throat> it tends to get really dark in that area. And so, you know, don't forget to blend it in. Ready for lips, my favorite, favorite part. This one is the color Vacay. Did I say thank you to my cousin? She bought me all three lipsticks. And look at the packaging, guys. So it's a very light cream color, almost close to white. And this is the color of Vacay. It's so creamy, it just melts in your mouth. This is a very peachy brown color. What do you guys think? Wait, this would look really great in the summer with the no makeup makeup look and this glow boss and that blush right there. Oh my gosh. Another color. I'm gonna try baked next. Baked is my cousin's favorite, favorite color. That's that Sunny's face logo here at the on the cap. And then on the other side is the color. Baked. This is kind of like a more neutral brown color. A very warm brown color. I love the formula of this though. You know what it reminds me of? Charlie Tilbury? No, Charlotte. <laughs> Charlotte Tilbury's lipstick. This one has the same creamy melts in your mouth formula, but it's very opaque as you can see okay and then next one guys is in the color major this is the red one which i really love it looks so pretty on pictures i think this would be great for like holiday christmas party look at that i hope it's not looking too too bright on camera And I don't have a lip liner, but it's kind of like a bluish red, like a deep red. This would go with a lot of skin tones. This is a perfect holiday lipstick color. I love all of the Fluff Mate lipsticks, but I equally love their lip dips. This is what the packaging looks like. And it has the name there. To, compared to their fluff mates, I love the texture of this more. It feels a little bit more luxe. It kind of has a rubbery feeling. Here's the wand. It has a fluffy cream that comes out, but when you put it on the lips, it's very thin. See that? It just kind of melts in your mouth. Not as opaque, I would consider it like kind of like a lip tint. I'm gonna put another layer. It layers nicely and I love the smell of it. It kind of smells like the Kylie liquid lipsticks. Uh-huh. It's like similar scent, but this one is a lot stronger. And so if you're not into scents, this would be much, much better. Okay, let me just spray Urban Decay. This is the final look. I would go with like a simple cream plain sweater with this look, but I love how it turned out. It's exactly what I had in mind. Um, I put on some lashes, very simple lashes. You can't even tell that they're not mine. That's it. I put on some earrings and I'm ready to party. Yeah, and that's it. And I hope you guys love this rundown of the Sunny Space makeup products. I enjoy trying them. I enjoyed using all of them. You know, with the exception of just getting the appropriate shade and color for me, I think these products are on point and are good quality products products and highly highly recommend the lipsticks guys the fluff mate lipsticks are awesome I, I can't wait to try other colors in this line of makeup if you're ever in the philippines you should definitely check this brand out and i can't wait for them to start bringing their brands here in america so good luck to sunny's face and i'm glad i got to try their product
you that is it guys if you like this video please give it a thumbs up like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you back next week for a new video and i hope to see you guys back soon bye